The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Oh, a good looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The former national champion at Clemson bringing him onto the field, and that's the signal caller, Deshaun Watson. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the 38, Watson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? On third down, Singletary. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 50 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The handoff, it's Singletary. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Singletary. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. So now the Colts backed up to start their initial drive. And they'll be piloted by their veteran quarterback standing six foot four. It's Ryan Tannehill. And one of the things that has really impressed me about Ryan Tannehill has been his perseverance. Early in his career, didn't have the success that he desired. Had some injuries that slowed his development. But he kept working at his craft, and now he's a guy that I think you can put a game on his shoulders. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. 
Now a first carry for their fullback. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. No score after one on EA Sports. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely, hostile. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw complete there to Johnson. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. On first and 10, Tannehill. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. He's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Here's Tannehill. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. On first down, it's Tannehill. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then, and now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage, back at the six. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Back to throw, Tannehill. This is incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18 yard line. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three. Maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. What if they may have to go to some play action, throw off the run game, and try and get the ball in the end zone? I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run now to set up the pass, right? I would think so, because the run has been very effective for them. 
partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a first down throw. Watson escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Pulls it in at the 13. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. Now on second and 13, Tannehill has incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route. You are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. Well, Charles looked like that had to be a mix up there defensively. You always question that type of confusion. They actually lost him in the middle of the field, gave him all sorts of room to run, and he took big time advantage of it. That's an error you just can't make on the defensive side of the ball. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Again to the fullback on the dive. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now it's Tannehill. It's complete to Brown, right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. From the 17, Tannehill complete to the tight end, Kittle over the middle of the field. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Here's Tannehill. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That catch good for only a couple. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Throwing again is Tannehill. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Patriots will take over here at their own 
15-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Singletary into the secondary past the 40 and all the way up to the 45-yard line. 76 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They will run with Singletary. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On the ground, it's Singletary. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Coming up on second and seven. Now a run with Singletary. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run it, Sanders. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run here with Singletary. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And he'll give it here to his running back. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. 
I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not. You got to rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. So the Patriot offense stays out there and they'll line up and go for two. They'll turn to Sanders and he'll get into the end zone to make it a five point game. Only had a couple of yards to gain there on the two-point conversion, and they were able to do it. And how many teams shy away from running the football in the two-point conversion? They treat two yards as if it were 20. If you're a good team running the ball, go to your strength. Go ahead and push it into the end zone. And yeah, they did. It worked. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So the Colts now down by five. A little over 30 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Tannehill. Ooh, Trying to get it to Ebron, that. and it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Watson now to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. That one looks like he'll throw here to the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Here we go, a big play and a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he's not gonna get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. Now Tannehill. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 
Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Pats are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the...